Apple Reminders is a free Get Things Done app that's available on any Apple device. With the release of the first public beta for iPadOS 16, we can finally explore the changes Apple has brought to different apps. In this video, we'll go through the changes in Apple Reminders for iPadOS 16. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan, back with Paperless X. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. The first thing you'll notice as soon as you open the app is the new toolbar. These icons are familiar from iPad OS 15. They appeared above your keyboard while we are editing our reminders in the app. In iPad OS 16, they are permanently available above your list. They can change depending on what you are editing. Lists, smart list, or reminders. You can even customize them to either add or remove icons. We love the new toolbar as it unlocks new ways of creating to-dos in Apple Reminders. It is particularly useful for creating debt and location-based reminders. The new toolbar also makes it easier to start collaborating on your list. You can now pin your list and the app adds them to your smart list. To hide smart list, you no longer need to edit like we did in iPadOS 15. Now you can simply long press a smart list and hide it. We were hoping to rearrange our list the same way, but we are still stuck with editing then rearranging. This section can only hold a maximum of 9 lists, including the smart list we have already had in the app. We found a way to add more lists beyond the 9, but it's probably just a bug, which will be fixed by the time Apple releases the official OS. We can now save list as templates. You can name your template and choose to include completed reminders in your templates. By default, the template copies all your incomplete reminders. You can easily access your templates from the new top toolbar they just added to the app. Editing, sharing, and deleting templates is also very easy and intuitive. When editing a template, you can change everything about individual to-dos and even add new ones. Templates are very useful, especially for repeating projects. We are happy to have them in the app. We now see all the tasks we have completed in Reminders regardless of the list they belong to. Apple added a completed smart list to the app. It's a good way to track your progress for different projects. It's much better than accessing completed tasks only from lists. If you prefer that, you can still do it in iPadOS 16. However, we are disappointed to see Apple still doesn't strike out completed tasks. Completed tasks are easy to differentiate from incomplete ones when they are struck out, especially when viewing them from a list. Your today list is now divided into morning, afternoon, and tonight. At this point, we only know what the app considers morning, afternoon, and night, but no way to customize it. Let's hope that's something we will be able to do in the future. Apple also added some structure to our scheduled smart list. At least now we will know when different tasks are due, just by looking at your schedule. We hope we won't have to see empty dates. Empty months and empty dates shouldn't appear under schedule at all. These dates make it easy to plan your schedule though. Some might appreciate them. We can now view our list and their to-dos when we tap the groups in Apple Reminders. On this view, you can create reminders below your list. This is another way Apple has simplified how we plan our schedule in the Apple Reminders. In iPadOS 15, we got notifications when someone assigned a task to us. In iPadOS 16, we now get notifications for more activities in the list we collaborate on. We get notified when someone adds new tasks or completes some. We can format our notes to make them bold, italic, and underlined. 
You can even convert your notes to numbered and unnumbered lists. We are happy to have formatting options for our notes in Apple Reminders. However, since they cleared the icons off the top of the keyboard, perhaps they can add these options for notes above the keyboard, like they did with bold, italic, and underlined features. We can now create more specific lists. Apple added more options to the few we already had. Let's hope this will make a big difference for smart lists users. More options are always a good thing. Apple Reminders is getting better with each iPad OS update, and that is exciting to see. We are happy that Apple is trying to catch up with other to do list apps. The dated schedule, formatted notes, and templates are all welcome. However, it is still missing a few fundamentals we hope to see added. These include striking out completed tasks for easier differentiation with incomplete ones, a recycle bin for recovering to do's that we have accidentally deleted, start dates for our to do's, they are crucial for get things done apps, integration with Apple Calendar, that way we can see all our plans in one place. We hope this video was useful. Which of these updates do you like? Are any of them enough to make you consider switching apps? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.